He rubbed my legs. Well, that's what you get for leading on pedos, you slut. There's this sexy housewife down there, and every year she fucks one bloke from our school. How can you possibly know that? My mate went last year and he banged her. He said that she was the best he'd ever had. A right fit mature bird that does it because she loves young meat. Sit next to John. I'm not sitting next to John, his fat ass takes up two seats. I've got feelings too, you know. Don't even think about trying to talk to me. Oh, uh, I'm just off, actually. Oh, no, don't leave my kite. Oh, no, it's not that, it's just I've got to go see a man about a dog. Then a woman about a pussy. <laughs> I do know what that means. Right. Do you wear, like, stockings and that? Is this about transport? It's just the questions written down. Uh, one last one. Ooh. Are you the woman who sucks schoolboys off? Sorry? Can you suck me off? So it looked like Jay's search for a nympho had hit a brick wall. So that's not her then? No, we just row back. On holiday in Spain one year, me and my mate took a pedlo out and we went to Africa. Do you think you could spare us the bullshit for one minute while I try to figure out how not to die at sea? Roses are red, violets are blue, your dong is massive, I want to blow you, love, from your secret slut. I didn't get none. I can't believe you got so many. Yes. It is hard to believe. Dear Jay, I've just baked you a finger pie. Why don't you come, spelt C-U-M, and taste it? Oh, mate, that's so horny. Where do you think it's from? Your dad? Yep, yeah, funny. <laughs> Let me look at these. Jay, you massive stud, please, please spaff on my tits from your Valentine's bitch. P.S. And on my face. What do you want to work on a paper for, anyway? I thought you wanted to go into the family business. Which is? Prostitution. Yep, nice one. Oh, well, it won't be shit at my dad's firm, so I will have a right laugh. When I worked there last summer, I spent every day jumping JCBs over cement mixers. Well, that's a lie. And I got paid a grand at the end of the week. Another lie! Well, I had a wank this morning thinking about your mum's tits. Is that a lie? I hope so. It's not. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry, you just need to go outside, take your beating from a child like a man, and then we can all leave. Looks like it's time for plan B. Oh, right. There's a plan B, is there? It's just plan A was so brilliantly devised, I wouldn't have thought we'd need a plan B. What is it, climb over her fence? It's a bit higher than I imagined. Oh, shit. What if Carly finds out about me and that girl? Oh, no. Maybe she still won't go out with you. Oh, she'd definitely get it. Right in the bum hole. Lucky girl. Maybe I'll bring my new fuck buddy along. That little blonde barmaid from the Fox Nouns. You pulled a barmaid? Nice. Has she got any special dietary requirements? It's just I've never cooked for an imaginary woman before. Well, I know she's not allergic to nuts. My nuts. Brilliant. Or my cock. She only eats small portions, then. Well, I didn't hear your mum complaining, although her mouth was full at the time. Yep, good one. We got you a special birthday treat. Did you? <laughs> stripper. What? Have you really booked a stripper? Yeah. She was only 150 quid. How did you manage to pay for that? We haven't paid yet. We just have a whip round when she gets here. A whip round? Round who? The five of us? We don't have 30 quid each. What? No, if we all just put in... Wait. Oh, shit, yeah. Don't worry about me, mate. I'm up to my neck in sluts at the moment. Jesus Christ, Simon! What the fuck have you done in there? What? Oh, you've been eating cat food again. Oh, God, you've left skids down the bowl, too. Carly, I, d I didn't. I only went in for a piss. Oh, God! I can taste it. Jay! Watch this. This is tame, they're not even naked. Oh, wait a minute, is she gonna... Oh, my God. That can't be real. That's gotta be chocolate. They should have got a bigger cup. How tame is that, then? Oh, Christ, I'm gonna heave. Jesus wept. Don't lick it! She's gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> this is the best bit, look. Oh! When do you ever go to London? All the time. I went last weekend. I fucked some girl up there. Did you? Where was that, then? It was in the Tower of London. The Tower of London. What did you do after you fucked her? Cut her head off? No, Jay! Go on. Because bus wankers! <laughs> Why are you slowing down? I tried to say! Oh, Christ, Jay. Oh, shit! Oh, no, they're coming! Shit! Drive! Where? Where am I meant to drive to? Anywhere! Oh, shit! Anywhere but the pavement. Oh. Listen, hey, 
sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really. Who's wanker? Please, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a really, wanker, really man. Sorry. I'm yeah? really sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah? I'm sorry. Yeah? I'm sorry. I'm really. I'm sorry. He's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a wanker. Yeah. I'm really sorry. He's I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd rather be a bus worker than drive that piece of yellow shit. Yeah, it's important for you to spend time on old people's home because you're a pedo. Well, if I did fancy old people, which I don't, that would make me the opposite of a pedophile. He is right. Well, then he's an OA pedo. Brilliant. Just think of it as doing me a huge favour. Why would I want to do you a favour? For money? Actually, I would do it for money. How much? That was Neil's idea. I'm not going to pay you to do voluntary work. 30 quid and I'll do it. 40? Neil? Look, if you get this nurse bird to nosh you off, then it's a bargain. You really are a vile human being. You go to an old people's home and wank off. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Sometimes I even slip a finger up my ass while I'm doing it. Hello? Who's that? Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, love. I've seen it all before. I thought it was empty. Your mum's settling in okay, I think. Oh, this is Jay. He's helping out as part of the Duke of Edinburgh scheme. How oh, nice. Thanks for looking after mum. I've met a girl. Oh, yeah. What's this one, a Russian lap dancer? No, her name's Chloe. and She goes to St Clair's and we met at the bus stop and just got chatting. Did you fuck her behind the bus shelter then? <laughs> no, Neil. Fingers? No. Let's see a picture then. Yeah, of her strumming herself. Neil, can you stop talking like that? I've checked your texts. Despite almost making me vomit, they obviously weren't about the exam. Count yourself lucky. Yeah, I was texting a girl, sir. Well, good luck with her cart right? All I can say is she can't be too keen because it didn't buzz once. Now piss off and let me get this final piece of hell over with. Do you think Chloe and Carly will get on? Oh, sure. It'd be like a, a cool double date, ending with both of us getting some. Maybe they'll les off. Neil, I've told you. Right, it's your last warning. I just don't think it's right we see each other anymore. I think you're a bit too sensitive for me. No, I'm not. I'm really not. I promise you. But you are for me. A and you're a bit needy, and it scared me because I'm not ready for that kind of thing. Just, you know, tell me what you want me to be, and I'll be exactly that. I'll be exactly that. Just, just please don't split up with me. Where's your bit, then? I thought you'd be out here up to your nuts and guts. No, I had to, uh, I had to give her the boot. Did you? I thought you were really into her. Nah. She was like, like frigid. And she wouldn't have this threesome, even though I organised it with a top leather model. And my cock was too big for her. <laughs>